Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. Today I want to talk about something that seems very common, but it's a really important thing if you have a pinball machine. You want to always do a good survey of the machine, and I want to explain why it's so important to make sure that if anything breaks loose, uh, you deal with it. Um, so why are having little pieces broken such a real problem? Because when they come loose, they can fall into all different kinds of places and cause a lot of additional problems. So you never want little things laying around. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. I'm going to use a South Park as an example. If we look at these posts over here, you'll see that uh, this one on the left here is broken off and it's in pieces. And these are the pieces that will break off and they'll bounce all around play field and maybe they'll go underneath the slingshot and be out of the way or maybe they'll fall into the ball trough and stop the ball from feeding or oftentimes they can fall into a subway or a hole down here ball goes in and gets stuck on one of these pieces of plastic and then the next thing you know you've got a big problem and it's not always easy to diagnose these things but uh, oftentimes when a ball disappears and the game can't find it especially in subways and under playfield things, usually the cause is something like this. These little pieces breaking off could be a piece of a plastic, a piece of rubber, but even the smallest little piece can get the ball stuck up somewhere. So it's really important to go over your machine. If you see little things that are starting to break and crack, you want to get these things off and you want to replace them. And this thing has been on here for a long time. It's actually very brittle. So you can replace these with different colored posts. You can use these yellow ones, or you can put another black one back on. And uh, that'll, that'll last quite a bit longer. These, some of these things tend to get hard, and then they just crumble. And then you end up with these things all over the place. So always survey the play field. If you see a plastic that's chipped or something, See if you can find where that piece of plastic is, because even the most innocuous thing can get hung up somewhere in the game and cause problems, and it's not always easy to find it. So just a little helpful tip there. Make sure that you replace your uh, rubbers and things and, um, and always check to make sure. And on these games, they had a lot of the, these Sega games, had these, a lot of these weird plastic posts that are hard to replace, and they kind of break after a while. And uh, you got to deal with them. So for more, visit pinballhelp.com. Thanks for watching.